Hi friends, how are you? Okay, friends, last time when we met, we talked about the largest river of the world, which is Amazon. Today we'll be talking about the most significant river of the world. So, what what significance does it carries? What are the various facts and figures? What are the various uncommon facts about it? We'll discuss in today's video. And uh, just for uh, request, in case you like this video, then subscribe to our, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel Divinity World. So let me begin with uh, today's topic of discussion is the Holy River Ganga, right? So we last time we talked about the largest river, its significance, and all this kind of a thing. But today we'll be talking about Ganga, which is the most significant river in the world. Why it is called the most significant river in the world? Because Ganga, along with its tributary, they are responsible for supporting 400 million people as far as India is concerned. Now, Indo-Gangetic Plains is one of the most highly populated and densely populated areas of the world and it supports, its river basin supports in form of agriculture and other activities, 400 million people. When I talk about the significance in terms of productivity, then let me give you uh, an, an idea of productivity. The highest record or the world record of per hectare productivity of rice, right, belongs to Indo-Gangetic Plains. So it's, it's still a record. It even beats the record of Japan. So it's as an Indian, I, I say it very much with proud that, you know, Ganga River Basin along with its tributaries, they give you the highest per hectare heat as far as paddy or rice is concerned along with other crops. Uh, it is also being known that the bacteria which causes cholera, right, it stands no chance in Ganga water, absolutely no chance. Now it has been proved scientifically and it was not just proved scientifically in the recent history but there was a British scientist who at the start of the early 19th century did experiments and he came to conclusions and there have been repeated experiments and it is came to know that a bacteria which causes cholera does not sustain for more than three hours in the Ganga water. That is some achievement. Number two, the decomposition rate. A decomposition rate of organic matter in Ganga river is 15 to 20 times faster than any other river. Why it happens? It's because Ganga, it, it carries with itself a lot and lot of materials, you know, sort of uh, minerals, which decompose the organic matter at a very faster rate. And the last part, we'll talk about the source of Ganga, right? People know that, you know, people usually say that the source of the Ganga is a holy town of Gangotri, which is not true. Gangotri can be reached by a motor, uh, through a motorable road. You can reach through a bus or through your own convents. But it used to be the source centuries back, but because of the global warming, the Gomuk Glacier, which is Gangotri Glacier, which is responsible for the origin of Ganga, shifted further 18 kilometers up into Gomuk, right? And Gomuk is shaped in the is is like is the snout of the glacier, right? It is called Gomuk because Gomuk is a word which is being translated. If translated to English, is called cow's mouth, right? It is shaped like a cow's mouth from which Ganga comes out. But it's actually not the source of the water, the source of Ganga. The source of Ganga actually lies further 12 kilometers up, you know, at the bottom of Mount Shivling. There's a huge expanse of area, wasteland by the name of Tapovan, and Ganga actually starts from there. So friends, this was a short, short, short uh, description about a hugely mystical and a very revered river as far as India is concerned. And of course, it is one of the most significant rivers. So friends, uh, this was in continuation on our topics on rivers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you liked it. You found it knowledgeable. Please watching our, please keep on watching our videos. 